everyone, let's make some money in Zoom Poker NL2. Path 3 suited against a small blind still, I defend. Ace Queen suited last table, fold. Ace Queen first table, if this guy fish, I will play 3 bet. 5-3 suited will call this uh, second pair and try go to showdown. Uh, 7-3 suited against regular, which have low fold to see bad. I am. I will see bet. Why not? He can have everything. King Queen of Suited just go pre flop against CO open race. He's still 19% of hands. Ace 4 suited second table. I call to play multi way, but nobody joined. This guy now join and no equity on flop and his range from only position it's it's tight. I cannot continue, cannot call, cannot raise. A six suited. I have only 65 big blinds, 65 yes, and I will not regret him with this hand. Ace 9 of suited, uh, very tight people race on the gun in race. I think I should fold. Last table with Ace 10, it's no fish on the table. I will not open Ace 10 from under the gun. Ace 7 suited, I can. Just call in this situation. I think it's the best decision. Just call. Queen 10 is a late, but this guy looked like hmm, only six hands can be fished, can be wrecked. Wreck sometimes in mistakes, I play leap call. So, where I have to see that. Jack 10 of suited against 50% um, steel. First of all, I check can I trip bad, cannot trip bad. After that, I check him can I call, yes, I can call. In general, these guys, uh, this guy, uh, see bad on 50% of the times. Actually, it's no problem for me. I call, especially with top fire. Right now, he can have a um, better top fire as me, something like him, Jack, Queen Jack, and he will not fold if I bet on turn. And he can hit Ace also on the turn. He just check, like slow play top fire. And river he bet, I check his aggression 54. One money uh, when C flop. So it can be bluff, can be bluff. but if he bluff, why he not bet on turn? Think, guys, if he really have bluff in this river, yeah, why he not bluff on turn? Why he uh, skip his bluff on turn and bluff on the river? I think it's a little strange, and I think that he possible not see bet with top pair on turn. Because with any block he should see bet on top. So I just uh, think that he slow played top pair ace on the turn and uh, just value bet it on the river.
maybe I roll, maybe not. Sometimes I will be right because this is good line when you hit uh, higher top player on the turn, especially when you bluff on the flop, you can just slow play and represent air or something because you will have high frequency, you will have call on the river when you bet. King Queen suit I will defend against the 3 bet. And on flop, it's a good situation for just push and flop. I can just call him, but I don't know. See, bet, see, bet. Can I just call? No, I think push is good, you know. Anyway, I have more equity than him right now. See, he folded. I win without going show down. It's good too. Especially when you have just king high. It's really king high. But with decent amount of equity. King Jack. What about rebet? No, he not fall for the rebet. So I just call him and he got shot. See bad in turn, he has very low. It means that I can bluff on the river versus him. And like I said, he see bad turn not often. That's why I will just don't bet on turn. Because if he has something, uh, let him play, let him pay. Maybe he will raise now. And now I check aggression, and aggression very low. It means if I check and he doesn't have flush, he will check back. If he have, uh, if he have right now two pair, possible he will not bet also on the river. And after he raised on the river, I 100% sure that he have flush in this situation. Maybe my turn back to the river was a little crazy because it was cut short on uh, board, cut short, and very low frequency. He will call me with something. Yes, I think I should not turn back on the river, and I have to play check. And after he back on the river, I can tell you this frequency he will have a good hand after he bet on the river by himself because his one money when chow down is around 45% he not bluff so much but sometimes he can when you bet straight if he has straight that's my bad I did mistake about on bet on the river Pocket dance, race against fish king now down bet, very small size. I think that I cannot call his uh, so many of his dogs on the Torn River, that's why it's the best option for me just give up. And this guy, he, he did not bluff often before on the river, so. I think that I uh, don't want to give him free cards and he will not bluff me on the river so why to check with possibly uh, best hand on turn. Don't bet again, I have third pair. You can check how many times he dunk. I uh, never saw before how he dunk. And now with King High and got shot. I will try to steal pot. Then six you that I'm not isolate against under the gun. Uh, is ten seven I will. Uh, on first table with nine six I think 
can have nice camp in this spot. So I will make value bet against flash draw and something else. But I did value bet on myself. Paro is queen jerk against people who like to fall to c5. It means that he don't bet all his good hands, especially when he have done bet call 100%. I think that he done bet range have good hands. Second table line, he trips on the turn, will really bet against top pair. On turn he bet big, I have two pair, he can have flush, he can have draw, bluff. His aggression on the river 38%. This deck I saw many times that people just not slow playing good hands on the very dry floats, they just raise them. They can hit top set on board 9, 5, 6 and just raise it. Or flop, it's, it's very dry, something like Jack, 3, 2, Rainbow, they can just raise set on the flop. Crazy guys. Forgot to see bet with King Jack of suited to overcard against people who like to fall to see bet and, and he like to um, bet against Jack. that his stack is too small. Some of the turns if he call I have to push if I will hit some energy. Uses on first table I prepared expect he followed of course. A6 suited second table try call to shut down. It's too suited for stable, I steal from the bottom. King 10, hit top pair, make value bet. King Jack suited against min race and 
low CP at call per flop. Will block on flop if he check. Or will not. Mm, King 10. I think that I should bet on turn because he still can have flush draw or got shot with overcard. Uh, King Jack I will bluff with 2 overcard. I think it's not so bad. And King 10 just uh, check on the river because I not expect that he will call something worse than that. And I hit my top pair on the turn against uh, that guy who check call pop. Bet on turn also. And table with pocket sixes. Ah, I play same man on two temples in zone funny. He bet on the river now. I have sixes and he check off flop and now he bet on the river and he have went showdown 42% and he have one money went so flop 42% it's mean that he not bluff guy believe to statistic click fold what else I can believe if I don't even know this guy never play with him never saw his bluffs have only some some hands on him and some statistics of course, I will believe in statistic and he not bluff off and on the river. Eight six suited, and we have little deep stake with one guy. Think I can protect this hand. Ace nine suited. I should call if uh, fish sit behind, but the table. Fish. It's quite suited. I decided not to repeat because we have deep stacks with this guy. I have two overs with backdoor flush draw. Of course, I should continue this hand. I will check now how often he fought to check race. Not often. So I will. I did expect that he will fall very often. Eight six. I will call turn. He bet uh, less than half pot. On table with ace two suited. Uh, I don't have enough time for check. What to do? But I thought that possible. I can uh, bluff in the river. I just want to check one statistic. How often he fall to uh, check? Uh, how often he check fold on the river versus bet, but my time bank is finished. So I think check is okay. But I know if I check, I will lose often. Yes, this is what I cannot change because he check only with something on the flop. It means that he have some hand. A7 on first table, I join multiway. And uh, pocket tens, I will just call per flop, he's super tight, man. Steal from the bottom, 13%, like someone steal from under the gun, he steals this range from the bottom. Very tight guy, never blocks. King 10 suited uh, fish, donk. I will play race because I have equity and backdoor flash draw and have full equity against two people. Mm, pocket nines, I will bite on turn. Still have flash draw on the board. Don't want to give free cards. After this guy don't call on flop, I will. I think that I can uh, bet one more time on turn and have free showdown if you call. Uh, 
I better turn this king 10 because I think that I have uh, hold equity and I have equity by myself. So I uh, not just uh, bet this air and expect that he fall. I have chance to improve my hand on the river. Receive squeeze from men who have squeeze eight percent. And of course I will join multi way with nine nine. Pocket tens have got shot on the turn. Uh, don't see uh, that I should make very bad in this position. In pocket nights, I will check and see what the fox wizard will do. He bet big. He can have all. Especially after a call of that man, I do not continue this situation. Possible that somebody have over there. Ten six suited, I will bet second time this got shot. And if flash close, I can bluff on the river, but flash, flash not close. And I don't think that he will fall. Sometimes he will fall to the river, but it's not enough often I think he will fall to make my bed profitable. And it, uh, that situation is not so good for block, I think. It's seven I call because of guy on the big line. I want him to join us. In general, he he have very very wide range opening from under the gun, but twenty six percent is very good. But I recommend not be a crazy monkey against under the gun ranges in general, uh, especially without backdoor flash draw or something, or cut short maybe something. And in general, no need to race against under the gun rangers because many of the people saw this take very tight. No need to uh, just block with this high. Pair with this king, make very bad. Second pair, Jack Ten suited, see bad, and got shot.
case it's suited I can call and expect that this guy will play check fault some of the times but I think it's not necessarily game King Jack of Suit are raised because fish sit behind. Not improve my hand with 9 6 suited. No equity, no fold equity. Let's check fold. And right now on the river, I have chance to. Still fold if he doesn't have queen or something. If he have middle pair, I think it's a uh, half frequency he can fold in the river. Then seven suit against unknown guy. I decided not to make second battle because he still can't have king. Then I will value by myself. And he will be possible he will not call something worse than that. And his aggression not enough for make me call. Sometimes yes he can have a queen is jerk. But sometimes he can have some his king. I'm not sure I will fall. I think that I can call only if I really have um, in statistic high aggression on him that he really bluffing guy something like that. You need to do something easy in poker when it's a really hard decision against unknown people when you have very less information. It looks like a rule 50-50, right or not, I want to be more correct than 50% of the times. That's why I decided just I fold. Don't have any problem with this. Sometimes he really will have good hand It can be very easy. This, this guy here for one one show one uh, one one C flow percent thirty six percent very less he not bluff for sure prepare these aces against Stack. 7 7 call against under the gun. C bet against half pot, C bet. Not good card, come on turn. It's improved in range, of course. suited against uncommon mind. Right? 
I think that Philip Luce and this Triple will be not profitable, especially against front home guys. Base 8 suited from small blind title Triple. The base hand is really bad, the crap blocker. And fold equity. What else do I need? Equity and fold equity. Is a late king can suit against Dunley Gun and get three bad. Cannot call this three bad. It's very big. This tripad on uh, Queen Queen table I can call. But in general, this guy looks high. Very lucky that I got uh, my quad. Uh, right now, just slow play. Race is very bad option. King is good. Card on the turn. It can improve his range. He can have. Aces, Ace King, Full House. I think that I can bet a little bit on turn. River not good uh, card at all. He really can have Ace King and fall on this river. Yes. I think this river kill all action. Very sad. Why I bet so small on turn? Because I know that if river come drive, it will go all in anyway. And I have to increase pot a little bit. And sometimes he can just push on turn by himself. Especially when I bet very less on the turn. And if he have hand like worst than topper like Jack Jack, he can call even this bet. So I, uh, this small bet, he will call this very this widest possible range, which he can have. And uh, check on turn, I think it's not a good option because pot on river will be smaller than his deck, and I have to make over bet in the river. He can be scared and fold something. So I decided to make little bet. Hold all his calling, all his uh, range. And a little bit was not like on the river. So. Ace Queen of Suited is a late race against everyone who limps. Especially this guy from under the gun. For sure, Red Fish. Never saw him play before. In Zoom. Zero hands on him. And we have 150 people. Both. Very suck board for me. I'll play just check fault in this situation. Can okay, do nothing at all? But I have top bear on a king queen table. Somebody three bet me, I can call. If I especially small blind, but big blind call in this situation, I think uh, playing some bet is okay. We'll see how he reacts on top. He 
you can bet on Tony in general if I play check and I raise uh, Don Bet with top player on team 10 table with guys fish with him play. So I'm gonna bet him on turn. He called on the river, I think should I really bet or not. Very low chance that he can have queen. So I bet on half pot. Expect that he will call something bigger. Uh, table with trips. I uh, planning to play check raise. I'll give you free card, which I can uh, make me back on turn. This guy fish same. He can call with uh, weaker hands for sure. Uh, then nine uh, of suit I three bet. Because guy fought all of three bets and have a frequency fault uh, to to see bet in three bet board. And I make value bet with trips. But he didn't call it's okay. Thanks guys for watching, subscribe to my channel, put likes to my videos, see you again.